Indian Navy ramps up its presence in the Arabian Sea, deploys more than 10 warships. Please subscribe to the channel and stay always updated with influential global events. Give a thumbs up to the video and share with family and friends and keep them updated as well. Let's delve into the video now. The Indian Navy is boosting patrols in the Arabian Sea to counter rising piracy and drone threats. More than 10 warships have been deployed in response to increased dangers in the Gulf of Aden. Initially, six warships were dispatched, but the number was raised to 10 due to escalating risks. The Navy closely monitors the situation in the Arabian Sea and the Gulf of Aden. With a surge in attacks on merchant vessels and drone strikes, the decision to deploy more warships aims to enhance security and safeguard against potential threats in these vital maritime regions. Without specifying the numbers, according to sources, more warships are expected to move in that region as the tensions are escalating. India is actively conducting maritime security operations independently to proactively stabilize the situation and enhance overall maritime security in the region. In contrast to the US-led Operation Prosperity Guardian in the Red Sea, India opted out due to attacks by Houthi rebels. Consequently, the naval presence in the Arabian Sea has doubled in the past 10 days, with 10 warships currently patrolling the high seas, up from two in early December. Financial Express Online has reported previously that each vessel in the fleet is equipped with helicopters and satellite connectivity to the naval operations room, fortified with specialized equipment. These warships, alongside Marine Commandos, have the capability to both launch and counter potential attacks. Surveillance planes like Boeing P-81 and Predator drones MQ-9B Sea Guardians leased from the US-based General Atomics conduct continuous aerial monitoring as part of the maritime security strategy. The warship's assigned task includes vigilant monitoring of mid-sea areas for rogue ships, given recent attacks farther from the coast. Over the past two weeks, the Navy has boarded and searched dozens of suspicious vessels. Stealth warships deployed include INS Kolkata, INS Kochi, INS Chennai, INS Mormugao, INS Talwa, and INS Tarkash, working in coordination with the Indian Coast Guard to intensify surveillance efforts over the exclusive economic zone. On January 5th, INS Chennai, accompanied by Marcos Commandos, successfully thwarted the attempted hijacking of MV Lila Norfolk in the Arabian Sea, rescuing the 21-member crew. The incident on December 23rd involving MV Chem Pluto hit approximately 400 kilometers west of the Indian coast, reignited concerns about rogue ships launching missiles. The United States attributed the attack to Iran, accusing them of launching a self-destructing drone, but the Iranian foreign ministry dismissed it as a worthless accusation. The Indian Navy's statement underlines mission-based deployments facilitating swift responses to evolving security challenges. Since October 2008, India has consistently deployed warships for anti-piracy patrols in the Gulf of Aden, showcasing its commitment to maritime security. On January 4th, two ships transporting a significant amount of oil to areas controlled by Israel faced attacks in the Indian Ocean. As reported by Lebanon-based TV channel al Mayadeen, an undisclosed source provided this information. The initial vessel, the Chem Silicon, affiliated with the Israeli Ace Company and sailing under Liberia's flag, was targeted northwest of the Maldives Islands. The second tanker, Pacific Gold, owned by the Stern Company and linked to Israel, encountered an attack near Cochin Port in India. These incidents mark concerns about developments in the region's maritime activities, raising questions about security measures and geopolitical tensions. The Navy's response has been swift and decisive, sending a strong message to those who threaten peace and security in the Arabian Sea. Their actions speak louder than words. The Indian Navy will not stand by while their waters are threatened. They are ready, they are capable, and they are determined to maintain peace and security in the region. However, combating these threats is not without challenges. The Indian Navy faces a multitude of obstacles in this mission. The vastness of the Arabian Sea is a significant hurdle. This vast body of water, stretching over 3 million square kilometers, is a daunting patrol area for any naval force. It's like searching for a needle in a haystack, but in this case, the needle can move and strike without warning. Another challenge is the stealthy nature of drone attacks. Unmanned aerial vehicles or drones are small, fast and often fly low to the ground, making detection incredibly difficult. 
they can launch attacks with little warning, leaving ships vulnerable. The use of drones for piracy and other illegal activities has been a game changer, adding a layer of complexity to the Navy's mission. But the Indian Navy is not backing down. To counter these challenges, they've adopted innovative strategies. One of these is increased surveillance. By ramping up patrols and employing advanced detection systems, the Navy aims to spot threats sooner. They're using a combination of traditional sea patrols, aerial surveillance, and satellite technology to monitor the Arabian Sea. It's a 24 seven job, but it's essential to maintaining security. Collaboration with international partners is another key strategy. The Indian Navy is working closely with other nations and international maritime organizations to share information and resources. This global cooperation is crucial in the fight against piracy and drone threats. It's a testament to the saying, united we stand, divided we fall. These strategies are not foolproof. They require constant adaptation and innovation, but they are the best tools available in the face of these challenges. They demonstrate the Indian Navy's commitment to protecting its waters and maintaining peace in the region. Despite the challenges, the Indian Navy remains committed to ensuring peace and security in the Arabian Sea. Their mission is clear, and they will continue to adapt and overcome in order to fulfill it. As we look to the future, the role of the Indian Navy in the Arabian Sea is likely to become increasingly important. As the threats in this region continue to evolve, so too must the strategies and technologies employed to counter them. For instance, the rising incidents of piracy in the Arabian Sea necessitate an increased naval presence. This means more warships on patrol, more sailors on duty, and more advanced surveillance and defense systems in place. It's not just about maintaining the status quo, it's about staying one step ahead. And then there's the growing concern over drone threats. Unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs, present a unique challenge. They're small, fast, and often difficult to detect. But the Indian Navy is no stranger to innovation. We can expect to see the development and deployment of advanced technologies designed to detect, track, and neutralize these airborne threats. But it's not just about defense. The Arabian Sea is a critical region for international trade. Any disruption in this area could have significant implications for global economies. By ramping up its presence in the Arabian Sea, the Indian Navy is also helping to safeguard international trade routes, ensuring the smooth flow of goods and services. The future may be uncertain, but one thing is clear. The Indian Navy is committed to maintaining peace and stability in the Arabian Sea. They're not just responding to threats, they're anticipating them. They're not just protecting their own waters, they're contributing to international security. The rising threats in the Arabian Sea present a significant challenge, but the Indian Navy stands ready to meet this challenge head on. With their continued vigilance and commitment to innovation, they're not just preparing for the future, they're shaping it.